Hi, my name is Melvin Wei. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe, share and like my videos, comment below. I have two containers sitting on a TV set-top box for cable, which I don't even use anymore, but it's warm there. Warmer than my computer, it's mid-afternoon. Daylight savings time explains the discrepancy between the two clocks. And it's roughly 30 Celsius in the center. It's hotter in the left, so probably 86 Fahrenheit or higher, possibly in the 90s. I've been incubating these two California navel orange seeds for three days now, or 72 hours. I first scrubbed them with a sponge to get rid of the fruit pulp, the sweet orange pulp that surrounds them, to reduce potential mold rot in the coming days. Then I soaked them in hydrogen peroxide, a 1% solution, for less than 10 minutes. Just a few minutes is fine. I poured out the hydrogen peroxide, wrapped around some paper towels, and wrung out everything with my hand. You don't need to be particularly sterile. Here's the packaging for this bag of navel oranges that I bought from Trader Joe's. It had six oranges inside. Only one of those six had two seeds inside. It's normally a seedless variety. It's very succulent and juicy. Highly recommended. Uh, they have about 150 kilocalories each. It's day five and the seed coat for the first mover has cracked open even more. As you can see, there are all these parts inside. Uh, cracks even. I don't know what that stuff is. There's orange stuff in patches and I'm really worried that it's mold because it's a closed container with 100% humidity. It's day eight, three days later, and I have great news. The second seed coat has finally opened. That means I'm not incubating for naught. The first mover still looks grosser than ever with all that orange stuff. It doesn't look like traditional mold, indoor mold, so I don't know what that is. I don't see any fruiting bodies. With all this hydrogen peroxide, I hope everything remains sterile. But if this thing starts to rot, I'm just going to throw it out. It looks uh, kind of disturbing. All right, it's day 15. Let's have a look. I like to drip the condensate from the lid each time I open it back onto the seeds themselves. It's essentially distilled water. It's very clean. Let's zoom in and get some macro footage. So it does appear that we have success. A green shoot system has come out. Um, what looks to be the beginnings of a root system. Although I'm kind of confused because usually for my other plant series, I always see the root come out first out of a seed. And there's also something that broke off that kind of looks like a slice of almond that's thin and wet. I hope that's not important. I hope that's not a cotyledon that broke off because we could be in big trouble. It would take a lot of resources to grow that back. And the second mover seed appears slimy, which has me worried as well. Is that some kind of mold? We'll get a good look later, but otherwise than that, everything looks very pale and healthy, which is still a good sign. So this is what I'm talking about, those little white dots on the outside of the seed coat um, seem to be encased with slime. That could be some kind of mold. It's been two weeks in hot and humid conditions. So I'm going to spray, well not spray, squirt with a squirt bottle, some 0.5% hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is very mild against plant and animal tissue. For reasons I don't know, it's really good against mold. Three days later, on day 18, let's have a look. The shoot system of the first mover seed looks very healthy. It's uh, slightly over a centimeter in length. It's a good sign. Looks like there's leaf primordia, um, two root primordia offshoots at the bottom, at the base. It's not quite what I expected in terms of how this would happen. I thought a root system would come out first, basically something like a tap root and just race to the bottom. But this has been very interesting. And the second mover looks like it's undergoing the same process, except the shoot has trouble unfurling for the time being. It's several days behind in progress though. And the root primordia here, or the, the two roots, uh, are not in a good position to soak up water because they're not in contact with a droplet of water or the wet paper towel. However, this is a 100% humidity environment constantly. 
and I keep spraying on or squirting on some hydrogen peroxide 0.5 percent so when some of that gets on the roots uh, they'll suck up that water and grow more so I think we're due for a transplant I'm going to start digging with my fingers into this little pot also containing my tiny little century plant that's taking a century to grow and I'm gonna put this thing in it's really hard to manipulate a plant that's that small and you know it is weighted at the bottom but it kind of tilts at will to go off axis so that's what all this padding is about there's a little bit of diatomaceous earth and sand mixed in with this potting mix that I sterilized a long time ago I don't know if it's still sterile but it should be good to go likewise with this second mover seed I'm gonna squirt on some 0.5 hydrogen peroxide to sterilize the paper towel and the seed itself from what I think is mold seal it up again and keep it on the TV set top box I'll give it one last watering up close so you can see how it scales to everything else it looks positively tiny compared to all these wood chips and vermiculite particles etc it's day 20 and we're in dire straits I watered yesterday and of course on day 18 I'm watering copiously today and I'm really worried that this may indeed be a root I don't know what to do the color looks off it looks a sickly yellow even though I think there's been plenty of water let's examine what's going on indoors on top of the TV set top box and 100 percent humidity this second mover seed is doing pretty well it has the same morphology as the first by and large that looks to be a shoot system I don't see why a root system would shoot upwards like that in the face of gravitropism so at least I have one seed left but that really sucks how out of two I'm now down to one it's day 21 and this firstborn is dying it looks to be in sorry shape sorrier than ever the tip of the shoot system looks like it's you know, dying or dead pinched off by excessive moisture I don't know or just burned by the Sun you know I read that plants raised in 100% humidity or in cell culture like conditions have trouble adapting to natural conditions when you remove those barriers that create 100% humidity then you have all these problems and I'm gonna put some plastic wrap on top of this after wetting the top layer of the soil hope that doesn't give my century plant root rot but nobody's watching that series but you know never say never nobody was watching my loquat series until um, maybe six or seven months later and then just really took off so I have the packaging tape holding this plastic wrap in place there's condensation all on the underside of it within minutes and maybe this will help scatter the sunlight if that was a problem with the sunlight being too strong it'll be scattered into different directions and angles meanwhile indoors I'm going to peel off the seed coat to accelerate this process I think that'll help a lot because this one has had great difficulty getting out of its seed coat I read on a blog written by a family that says it's better to peel off the seed coat that'll accelerate the process and then you can just grow them normally or whatever but they didn't really go into too much detail the problem with blogs is they only have a few pictures and a lot of words no videos they don't tell you what went wrong or what didn't happen or couldn't happen and as you can see the seed coat was covered by a gel like layer that was slimy it wasn't in fact mold and I don't even really know what I'm looking at I mean I think those are two big fat cotyledons waiting to um, you know stretch out and unfurl and likewise there's something that resembles a slice of almond or garlic that broke off I hope it's not important I still don't know what any of that is I'm assuming this is the correct orientation I'm gonna take a gamble and I got sick of this whole setup so I just took off the plastic wrap outside I changed my mind all within the hour and I basically dissected this by peeling off the seed coat seems like one of the cotyledons broke off and this thing's just a mess you know it was the one that was orange to begin with on the inside so I'm gonna have this stuff pointing up and I'm gonna water one more time um, I'm hoping 
the root was just green due to light exposure and that this is the correct orientation otherwise I'm really screwed so imagine my shock when I came home to see this just when I thought I had righted the ship uh, the green stock curved up like a J or an umbrella handle that means it's definitely a shoot and with this new information I had to dig up the firstborn from the sandy soil outside and find a way to finally right the ship by going the opposite direction now that I knew what was up and what was down so I decided to get this Pyrex cup with a handle I used this for some other growing series in the past I put some bone dry potting mix in there with no sand or diatomaceous earth this potting mix is really really dry and it will take a few hours to hydrate so I'll just squirt some hydrogen peroxide on it to see how that disperses in such a small volume of soil I had to bury the second born this way because the base of the stock needs to be uh, hydrated and in contact with wet dirt or uh, you know a drop of water otherwise the roots will never spawn so that's why it basically just looked like this white unintelligible ball you know between um, what I mistakenly thought were cotyledons but actually I think they're just storage organs for the seedlings food supply in the early stages so it's day 23 this is my lux meter you've probably seen it before when I expose it to this sunlight direct sunlight at dusk it reads over 50,000 over 100,000 to 120,000 would be direct noontime sun and as you can see this second born stalk is actually greener and thicker than it was yesterday which is a great sign the first born looks like something that pinched off and died from mold although the original damage was caused by drying out it's day 25 it's been two days since I last checked. I'm going to unwrap this and take a look. And from a distance, you can already see that the second born stock is greener and thicker than it was two days ago. Not only that, the contrast between that and the color and you know, general sad shape of the first born kind of tells you what's growing and what's dead or dying I'm still holding out hope that the firstborn can recover but in the meantime the soil looks very dry um, it definitely looked dry at the bottom of this cup so I decided to water a lot more I need to get some roots so check out my series playlist for episode 2